If your apartment's height seems to shrink over time, don't be surprised. When a compressive load is applied to concrete, it shortens immediately due to elastic deformation. If a load remains applied for a long time, the concrete will continue to shorten, with approximately 75% of the total deformation occurring in the first year. The remaining 25% will develop over the following years. This additional, time-dependent deformation is called creep. The final deformation from creep can be two to three times the initial deformation. If the long-term load is removed, the member will recover most of its elastic strain and a small portion of its creep strain. In addition to causing creep, long-term loads can reduce the concrete's strength. This is particularly true for concentrically loaded specimens. If the load is applied for a year or longer, the concrete may experience a strength reduction of 15% to 25%. Consider a concrete member that is loaded with 85% of its ultimate compressive strength, FC. While this load might be acceptable initially, over time, due to creep and the reduction in strength, the member's capacity to carry the load decreases. As a result, the member may seem fine in the short term, but could fail later due to the combination of creep and the long term reduction in strength. The effect of creep can be reduced by 1. Longer concrete curing. The longer concrete is allowed to cure before any loads are applied, the more fully it strengthens. This results in less creep when the loads are eventually applied. Steam curing will reduce creep. Because steam curing causes the concrete to gain strength more quickly, the faster strengthening means that the concrete will have higher initial strength when the loads are applied. As a result, Concrete subjected to steam curing will experience less creep compared to concrete cured more slowly under normal conditions. 2. Using higher strength concrete. Higher strength concretes generally experience less creep than lower strength concretes when subjected to the same level of stress. This means that if both a high strength and a low strength concrete are loaded with the same amount of stress, the high strength concrete will deform less over time. However, in practice, the applied stresses on higher strength concretes tend to be higher than those on lower strength concretes because higher strength concrete is designed to carry larger loads. 3. Reducing applied compressive loads. The amount of creep is mainly influenced by the level of stress applied to the material. As long as the stress applied to the concrete is less than or equal to approximately half of the compressive strength of the concrete, FC, creep is almost directly proportional to the stress. This means that if the stress increases, creep will also increase in a roughly linear manner. When the stress exceeds than half of the concrete's compressive strength, FC, the behavior changes. The increase in creep becomes more significant and nonlinear. Creep will accelerate rapidly meaning that a small increase in stress beyond this limit causes a large increase in creep deformation. 4. Reducing the temperature of the concrete. Creep increases with higher temperatures, meaning that as the temperature rises, concrete tends to deform more over time under sustained loads. The highest creep occurs when the concrete is exposed to temperatures around 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 66 to 71 degrees Celsius. 5. Increasing the cross-sectional area of members. Large concrete members have a high volume relative to their surface area. This means that there is a lot of material in the center of the member that is far from the surface. In these large members, creep is proportionately less because the free water inside the concrete takes longer to escape to the surface. As a result, the process of deformation due to creep happens more slowly and less intensely. 6. Adding steel reinforcement to compression areas. When reinforcement steel bars are added to the compression zones of concrete, it significantly reduces the amount of creep. This is because steel has a very low tendency to creep, especially at the typical stress levels encountered in structural applications. In contrast, Concrete 
deforms more over time under sustained loads, but steel remains much more stable. 7. Avoiding concrete with a high percentage of cement water paste. Creep in concrete primarily occurs in the paste, not in the aggregate. This means that the more paste a concrete mix contains, the higher the creep will be because the paste is the part that deforms over time under sustained loads.